anointing is. And that's another message for another day, huh? Uh, so, so his armor bearer was by his side. He said, come, let us go over to the garrison of these uncircumcised. He said, it may be that the Lord will work for us. For nothing restrains the Lord from saving by many or by few. Now, now they, they, they were, everybody else was the heat that saw but Jonathan and his armor bearer were the few that knew. They knew that God could work on their behalf. Amen. Okay, 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 okay. Now, his armor bearer was by his side. They messed around and stumbled upon a perfect illustration of what an armor bearer is supposed to be. And what an armor bearer is supposed to do. I I'm not going to go there too much today, but uh, like I said, that's another lesson for another day. But, but see, the armor bearer was ready to die. Mm. He was ready to die. And, 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 and to be with his master. He was ready to die to be with the person that he served. But see, perhaps God used his faithful armor bearer to stir something up in Jonathan. See, maybe Jonathan said, come on, let's go. And the armor bearer said, okay, let's go. What an awesome thing that must have did for Jonathan. Huh? That the armor bearer had the same confidence in God that he did. He said, wait a minute, if you're ready to go, and you don't know where we're going, you're just going at my word. And, 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 and because you're going to be obedient, and you're going to trust, and you'll make yourself available, I guess we're going to win this Amen. thing. I guess, I, I guess we're going to win this thing. I, I guess we're going to get it. Yeah, yeah I, I, we really are going to win this thing. Because see, you got to learn how to see the signs that God gives you. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. That's oh my good. God, That's see, good. this armor bearer must have known, must have known that the Lord was with them. Why yeah. else would he not jump up and say, okay, let's go. Right, let's right. Go. What, what, you know what, uh, me me in the mall, it's going down, me me, 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 me uh, in the yard, it's going down, me me, 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 me by the tracks, it's going down, he said, he said, well, I, what, where are we going, Jonathan, it's going down, it's going down, I'm going to be with you, brother, it's going down, I'm all right, I'm good, I know, and he must have, he must have gotten courage. By that, by that, by that. These two men were finna go fight thousands of Philistines with some garden tools. <laughs> You know, stuff you dig holes with. They were they was ready to go to battle with some garden too. So they was ready to go ill-equipped, but they were still just as ready to go because they understood that the Lord was with them. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, see, see, that's all in verse six. It may be that the Lord will work for us for nothing restrains the Lord from saving by many or by few. That means they understood that the Lord was with them. They were went to battle with some spoons that they had. Come on now, come on, come on. If that's what it took, if that's all it was around, they were chopping them spoons yeah. so they could go to work on them people with their spoons. Thank you, Lord. Y'all know that y'all know that uh, Samson killed a thousand men with the jawbone of a jackass. So, so it took what, whatever it takes, whatever it takes you to yeah. use it. Yeah. Yeah. Use Thank it. Oh my God. Thank you. See, Jonathan Thank did something today that many people would think was not smart. He didn't talk to his military advisors. He didn't let nobody know nothing because, see, they probably would have messed up the plan. They probably would have tried to come to him. And, then, you know, and, and you know, you got to be careful who you take the battle with. You got to be careful who you take to battle with. You, you can't take everybody into battle with you because they might not be ready. Come on, now. That's good. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Y'all remember what the sons of Sceva said to the men that tried to cast them demons out of them? He said, Paul, I know Jesus, I know, but who are you? Who are you? You don't have any authority here. So you got to be careful who you take into battle with you. They didn't consult nobody. They just He just had what was called a divine impulse to act on the presence of God. He said, you know what? Wait a minute. These people don't have no rights. These people don't belong to God. He calls them what? Uncircumcised. That means they are not in the covenant. They are not covenant people. Mm. And so since they're not covenant people, they don't have any covenant rights. So God don't owe them nothing. But since I am in the covenant and God is with me, I'm going to go with just me and another person and God. And I believe that me, another person and God is enough to kill the enemy. Jonathan waited until, but see, Jonathan didn't just up jumps the boogie and go without talking to God first. See, look in, look in verses 8 through 10. Look in verses 8 through 10. He acknowledged this presence 
of God. See, sometimes we know that God is ever present. He's omnipresent. But see, with the understanding, even the heathen has some sort of knowledge of the fact that God, by definition, the Christians believe that God is omnipresent. He is everywhere at the same time. But see, not everybody acknowledges 